assalamu alaikum dear students today in this video i am going to explain the structure of the human eye as we all know human eye is that part of the human body by the help of which we are able to see the colorful world this human eye is made of three different layers fibrous tunic vascular tunic and the retina so first of all i will explain fibrous tunic it consists of two parts one is called cornea and another is sclera actually uh, the human eye is not a perfect sphere shaped but it's a fused two piece unit as you can see in the diagram the frontal smaller part or the frontal smaller uh, sphere is called cornea it's transparent and allows the light to enter in the eyes and hence it's also called a window of the human eye moreover maximum refraction of the light takes place at this part that's cornea the radius of this cornea is uh, 8 mm okay then we have uh, the another part and that's the sclera sclera you know uh, our eyes uh, have uh, uh, the white portion and that white portion of the eye is called the sclera you can see in the diagram this a uh, white portion around the eye this is the sclera and this uh, sclera has the radius of 12 mm this cornea and sclera are, are linked with each other by a ring and that ring is called a limbus so limbus is the ring that connects cornea with the sclera so this was the first layer or the outermost layer of the human eye that is fibrous tunic uh, let's now talk about the second or the middle layer of the eye that's vascular tunic vascular tunic consists of many parts like it uh, it consists of uh, choroid uh, lens ciliary muscles and iris so first of all choroid choroid is a vascular connecting tissue that lies between the sclera and the retina another part of this vascular tunic is the iris uh, as is shown in the diagram iris is uh, the colored portion of the eye different people have different colors of the eyes this uh, colored part of the eye is called iris actually uh, our uh, human eye consists of a special type of uh, photosensitive and non image forming cells and are called ganglion cells these ganglion cells are responsible for the secretion of a pigment that is called a melanin or melatonin this melanin is responsible or this melanin gives color to the human eye this iris uh, has a small opening at the center and that opening is called the pupil so pupil is actually not a different uh, or a separate part of this tunic but it's actually the part of the iris okay this uh, pupil adjusts its size so that the required amount of light can enter inside the eye its size is also governed by the ganglion cells and they are also responsible for maintaining the body clock if the intensity of the light outside the eyes is uh, very high then the size of the pupil decreases and if the intensity of the light outside the eyes is very less then the size of the pupil increases the another part of the vascular tunic is the eye lens this is a double convex lens it's made of proteins and water it has a varying focal length and its focal length is varied with the help of ciliary muscles okay so uh, the function of the eye lens is to converge on the light rays on the retina where the image is formed the next part is the ciliary muscles ciliary muscles are responsible for the contraction ciliary muscles are actually responsible for varying the focal length by the process of contraction and relaxation see uh, when the ciliary muscles contract by their contraction the lens becomes thick when the lens becomes thick its uh, focal length decreases and the focal length of the lens decreases 
and when the ciliary muscles relax by their relaxation the lens becomes thin and its focal length increases in this way by the contraction and the relaxation of the ciliary muscles the focal length of the eye lens is varied okay now the innermost layer of the eye this is called a retina and uh, this retina acts as the screen of the human eye that means the image is formed at this retina okay this uh, retina consists of two types uh, special types of cells rod cells and cone cells the rod cells are responds to the intensity or, or brightness and the cone cells responds to the color so this was uh, the innermost layer that is that's the retina of the human eye so uh, finally the image that is formed at this retina the information of this image is uh, then uh, carried to the brain with the help of the optic nerve and the spot where this optic nerve is connected with the eyeball in the retina and that spot is called blind spot where no image is formed so this is the structure of the human eye as you can see in the diagram the complete structure of the of the human eye along with the various parts that is the cornea the iris you can see the ciliary muscles the lens and the retina yeah one more thing that you need to remember that is the space uh, between the cornea and iris anterior chamber so this space between cornea and iris is anterior chamber and the, and then from this uh, iris to the uh, lens that's called posterior chamber both these chambers are filled with a fluid that's called aqueous humor moreover and the space that's present between the uh, lens and the retina space between lens and the retina it's also filled with a fluid that's called a vitreous humor so uh, this is all about the structure of the human eye hope you have understood thank you very much